Hello, University Church family. I am very excited to get to spend a few minutes with you in God's Word today. If you'd like, you have a Bible with you, turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We'll read verses 7 through 18. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. This passage has been very helpful to me in putting things in perspective over the last few days, uh, and so I'd like to share just a couple of quick thoughts uh, that hopefully will be encouraging to you. Uh, first is that God is so active in our lives during hard times. Uh, I think right now we're all being shown just how frail and powerless we are on our own. Uh, I know for me it's been very humbling to just see plans completely unravel, and it tells us that we're not in control. Uh, and yet God is made manifest in our weakness. Uh, even though we might feel hard-pressed on every side, with God, we can't be crushed by any situation that we find ourselves in. If we're perplexed, which I know I am in the current situation, uh, then we don't have to despair. If we're persecuted or struck down by the forces of this world, well, we uh, can't, the, the blessings that we have can't be destroyed. And God will certainly never forsake us. How you respond to whatever hard time you find yourself in, if it's this coronavirus situation or whatever situation, uh, how you respond will impact everybody around you. If you lean on God for strength and for guidance, and if you don't succumb to fear and worry like everybody else seems to be, then you may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. If you have a good attitude in the face of uncertainty and your own frailty, then you can show that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. And the second thing is that God has an eternal purpose for us. He has a plan for us that's so much bigger than just this life and the current situation. I love that the confidence that this passage gives us. It says, He who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. If we believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, we can have just as much faith that he will take care of us when this life is over. The afflictions that we face in this life are all light in the face of the eternal weight of glory. I mean, think about that, brothers. All the worries and trials of this life are just like a vapor that are going to be gone very quickly. This quarantine situation, it just keeps to, or seems to keep stretching on and on. It's not even a speck on the timeline when eternity is involved. The eternal weight of glory, brothers and sisters. Praise be to God for being so merciful and just abounding in blessings. And we don't have to worry about things that are going on right now. We can have peace that far surpasses any understanding of the world around us in this situation. I hope that these thoughts have been encouraging to you, and I pray that you won't lose heart during this less than perfect situation. And even if you feel like your outward man is perishing right now, which... I can relate to. Um, still, we can all renew our inward man day by day and focus on God's eternal promise. And there, there can be so much good that can come because of that to other people. I thank you so much for your time. Uh, and if there's anything that me or my wife can do to encourage you or help you, then please reach out to us. All right. Y'all have a great day. See ya.